Hi, I'm Sanya and welcome to Sunrise Yogi channel. Today's class we're going to focus on some core strength and we're going to try some arm balancing. We're going to start with some core work. So come down laying on, our, on your back. Place your palms down into your mat, ground your shoulders and your hips. Bring your boot feet up towards the ceiling. Heels are pressing up, your toes are curled down. So you're pressing up through your heels. And now slowly move your both feet just gently a little bit down. Like you want to do 45 degrees with your legs. Keep the legs straight if it's possible. So your lower belly is working here. Just when you feel your belly is engaged, you can stop and release your right foot down, hover it over the floor, inhale, bring it up, and the left hand, left leg, and up, right leg, up, and left, and one more each foot, strong belly, keep pressing into the mat, and hug the knees, bring them from side to side. and prepare for another round. So press your palms down and lift your legs up. This time we're gonna swing our legs up to the, towards the head and lift our hips off the ground for a reverse plank. One, two, three. Really lift those hips up high and feel the belly engage. Five and six. Hug your knees in and move gently from side to side. Place your palms down and lift your legs now 90 degrees. And now extend your legs forward, feel your belly engaged and slowly with control bring them back to 90 degrees. Four, two, three, it's a movement with control, control from the core. Four, five and just one more and bring those knees back into your chest and one final round press your palms down you can place your hands under your tailbone if you want and bring your legs up high and release the legs down hover them under the floor and bring them all the way up and lift those hips four two it's a big swing with the legs three, four, five, and give it one more. Lift those hips up high and hug your knees. Move your hips from side to side, gentle massage over your lower back. Now hold the backs of your knees and come all the way up to seated. Bring your feet back and sit on your heels. Now we're going to bring attention into our uh, hands and palms. So press your palms down, uh, open your elbows forward, swing your elbows facing forward. Now we're going to move our shoulders forward back. So we are rounding through the upper back. So separate the shoulder blades, round through the back and then connect the shoulder blades. Round through the back and reverse, so open the chest. So we need both of these movements in our yoga practice. So we just want to make, sort of uh, create a muscle memory from here. And one more. Cup the center. Turn your palms facing up towards the ceiling and just press a gentle weight onto your hands to stretch to the front of our wrists want to prepare a warm up for our, our arm balancing and a lot of planks today. Release down and come up to your all fours. Move your knees a little bit further down. We're going to try some yogic push-ups here. We're going to move our shoulders forward, ideally in line with our elbows or upper. So don't go lower than your elbow. So lower down and press up. 
We'll try this one more time, lower down. So this is baby chaturanga, baby yogi push-up. Really building the strength through those hands, keeping the chest open. Then come all the way down. Roll the shoulders, inhale into cobra, open the heart. And exhale, find your downward facing dog. Lift those hips up and back, press into those hands. From here, we're gonna lift our heels up high. Lift, you're gonna lift your hips high and move your weight into the front of your body. Move your weight into your hands and see if you can hop gently forward or step. Now inhale, extend your heart forward, lift halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to extend the heart forward. Now exhale, ground your palms down. Bring, uh, bend your knees and bring your belly button to your thighs. Press your palms down and see if you can start shifting the weight forward into your body. So we're just shifting the weight from our legs to our hands. Just getting used to the feeling of our arms holding the weight of the body. Just shifting and lifting your uh, heels a little bit. And hold it there with your heels lifted and release. Now hold your elbows and allow your front body and your neck to release and fall down from the hips. Keep the legs strong. On your next exhale, release your hands down. Inhale, stretch your heart forward. Exhale, fold down. Now plant your hands down and hop or step back into your plank position. Now lower down into your push-up or chaturanga and up, up to a hard plank again. Lower down and plank again. Now come all the way down onto the floor. Inhale, lift your heart up into cobra and exhale, find your downward facing dog. Now inhale and bring your right leg up. Now bend the knee and open that hip to the side, open the knee to the side. On your next inhale, bring that knee forward to the outside of your right elbow, touch the elbow or the tricep. Inhale, come back into one like a dog. Exhale, bring that knee to the opposite elbow, touch the elbow, strong core. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to your chest, hold it there and then step it through. Inhale into high lunge. Exhale, ground back heel and open up into warrior two. Relax the hands down. And now place your hands 90 degrees like you're in that chaturanga position. So you're, like you want to push through those palms and create the strength in your arms. Now protract and retract your shoulder blades. So move your shoulders forward and back, creating the muscle memory in our upper back and our shoulders, preparing us safely for our arm balancing. Now find the center and look in front of you. Start moving your weight to the front leg, shifting the weight and lifting the back leg into variation of our half moon pose, keeping your hands into your chaturanga. Come back to your warrior two, lift your front arm up, reversing the warrior and exhale, framing the front foot. Now wiggle your front foot to the outside of the both hands. Press evenly into the palms, round through your upper back. So open your shoulder blades, round through the back, engage the core, and see if you can gently and slowly with control move that uh, front foot all the way back into the plank. Lower down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip, open that knee to the side. And as you inhale, slowly move with control, move forward to your left elbow. Inhale, one leg a dog. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, one leg a dog. Exhale, knee to your chest, hold it there and step it through. Inhale into high lunge. Exhale, open warrior two. 
inhale create those chaturanga arms strong arms press through those palms lower the shoulders down then move the shoulders forward and back again forward and back really feeling the strength in your hands engage your hands even though you're not pushing into anything imagine that and create the strength look forward move your balance away to your front leg and shift forward moving your floating your back foot up and step it back warrior two inhaling reversing the warrior exhaling framing the front foot wiggle the front foot back to the uh, outside of your both hands press into those palms round through the upper back lift the front foot and slowly with control move it back plank lower down into push up inhale open the heart and exhale downward facing dog now we're going to move our hands back towards our legs and now press those palms down to the mat bend the knees and this time lower your knees to, to your uh, armpits and start shifting the weight like we did in our standing forward fold shifting the weight forward and back till those um, and, and start for uh, start making little hops to the front and back so these are crow hops so we are moving gently slowly forward with control engaging our core pressing through those hands and then start moving back so hops back crow hops and release those heels down now if you have blocks take your two, two blocks if not you can do it without blocks as well this is a little bit easier give you more range so bigger range of the movement so if you have blocks place them to the outside of your thighs and place your palms press your palms down into the block or into the mat now round through the spine, engage, the, engage those hands and engage the core, lift your hips and your knees up high like you're curling into the bowl, engage the belly and release them. And again, lift those hips and release down, strong core and again lift up and release. We're going to try something else now, now press the hands down, lift those hips and move one leg and another into the air and release down good work everyone now release those wrists a little bit now we're going to try to press into crow uh, lift up into crow po pose so bring those palms up so we're going to do everything what we learned in today's practice so we're pressing into the heads activating the hell the hands rounding through the upper back Place your knees to your armpits, start shifting your weight forward, look ahead of you and see if maybe those feet can lift off the ground. Strong core. You can lift one leg and another leg, maybe two legs. If not today, it will happen the other day. And release down. Now shake your wrists a little bit so open your uh, palms up and just reverse the action of our crow pose to counter a little bit make a few circles with your hands and then move your hands forward press up into plank lower down into chaturanga inhale upper facing dog and exhale downward facing dog inhale right leg up exhale knee to your right elbow inhale one leg a dog exhale knee to your left elbow inhale one leg a dog exhale knee to your chest and step forward inhale high lunge exhale open up warrior two inhale chaturanga arms look forward shifting the weight to the front leg inhale lift the black back foot up exhale release down warrior two inhale reverse the warrior exhale frame the front foot now we're going to do try something else here so uh, shift the pivot the foot outside press the palms down round through the upper back 
So now we're gonna start to hook, uh, try to hook that front leg to the elbow. Go down into your chaturanga arms and hold that foot there. You got that. And take it back into your plank. Lower down into chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. When you're ready, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, one-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, one-legged dog. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open up. Inhale, chaturanga arms. Look forward, shift the weight to the front leg and float the back leg up. Half moon variation, strong standing leg. Exhale, step back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, frame the front foot. Wiggle the toes of the front foot to the outside. Press into the hands, round through the upper back. Hook that um, elbow to the inside of the foot and go down, lower down into your chaturanga. Exhale, plank, inhale, upper dog and exhale. Downward facing dog. Come down onto your knees down and sit back into child's pose. Taking those hands back to relax the shoulders. Take the pressure of the wrists and the upper, bo upper body. And gently come up. Now we're gonna uh, try uh, one another arm balance. So if you have your blocks, take the blocks. If not, you can still do everything without blocks. Take your feet in front of you. Extend them forward. Find a straight spine. Release the hands by your side. Stuff pose dandasana. Lift the heart. Lift the toes. Now if you have your blocks, take your blocks and place them by your side. Bend the right foot and just um, now we're going to try to take that foot over the, 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 take the right foot over the right shoulder like you're taking the backpack. And now take your blocks, place your palms onto the blocks. When you're ready, shift your weight forward, come up onto those blocks, round through your upper back and see if you can lift your left leg up. Point those forward. This is our elephant trunk pose, great for our core work. And once again, lift up, point those toes forward and release down. We're going to try to do our arm balance here. So if you can lift the leg, you can try this with me. Otherwise, you can try, you can continue with elephant trunk. Cross your feet and then extend them towards the camera and lower down onto your chaturanga arms. This is eight angle pose. I'll do the other side turned to the camera so you can see it a little bit clearer. Now shake your legs, shake your hands and release. Prepare for the other side. Place both hands straight in front, both feet straight in front of you. Place your blocks to the side if you're using the blocks. Bend your left knee. Take the hold of your left foot. You can swing it a little bit just to prepare the hip if you think you're not warmed up, if you feel stiff. And then take that knee over to your shoulder like you're yeah, like you want to take the backpack. Place your hands onto the blocks. Push down into the palms. Move forward. Move the weight forward. Round through the back. And lift the lower foot. And release down. And one more time. Inhale. Strong body. Lift those hips. Lift the leg. And release down. And now we're going to prepare for arm balance. Inhale. Come up one more time. See if that leg can come up. Cross the legs. Cross the shins and come down onto your chaturanga arms, extending the feet to the side and release down. Good job, everyone. Leave your blocks to the side. Now we're going to come up into our all fours. 
bringing the knees up high into plank and come up into the downward facing dog. Stretch up a little bit, move forward into high plank and lower all the way down onto the belly. Now move your hands to the outside of your mat. You're going to stretch the front body a little bit to reverse the action. Inhale, lift your heart up and forward and up into this cobra variation. Exhale, release, inhale, lift up. Stretching all the front body, counterposing all the crows and rounding through the upper back. So just finding some lift and open a spaciousness in our chest area. And release down. Now we're gonna um, turn onto our back. Place your palms down, place your feet down, level with your hips. Press your shoulders down and on the inhale, start lifting your hips high into bridge pose. Knees are in line with our hips. Aim to open the chest. Lift the chest towards your chin. And gently release. Now extend your left foot forward and hug your right knee in. Now take a hold of your right knee with your left hand and move your knee to your left side. You extend your right hand to your right and look towards the right. Releasing any tension from the body. Just enjoying this twist in our spine. Inhale, come back to center, swap the legs. Take a hold of your left knee now. Take your left knee with your, first squeeze it in towards your chest and then take it with your left hand and turn towards the left side. Your right hand is towards the right and you look towards the right. back to center extend the boat feet down extend your hands up and over the head give yourself a big stretch then turn your palms up and then stretch again stretch all your body now come into your shavasana release the whole body Palm, palms are facing up towards the ceiling and release the tension from the whole body just relax here and feel gratitude for today's practice for bringing the strength through the strong body we build a strong mind and through the strong body we release the stress and tension thanks for joining me today and i'll see you in my next class namaste